Okay, so first up, we have this great little option for those who don't want their Excel sheets to be all black and white. So all you need to do is type in just five letters. So first you type in P, and then move to the next cell, type R, then I, then D, and then E. And there you go. So your Excel sheet now looks bright and colorful. And in case you don't want anybody, be, anybody to see these letters, all you need to do is either right click on the row and hide it, or you can just uh, press option command and number nine and hide this row and do whatever you want to do with the rest of the cells. Okay, so next up we have this great option uh, available on Google Sheets where you can uh, create QR codes. Uh, so as you can see, I've already created one QR code for the letter ABC. Uh, down below, I have the link to my YouTube channel. Uh, so what we're going to see is how we can create a QR code for it. So for this, all you need to do is uh, add in a formula, which is image and then you need to paste down this url so i'll add this url in the description below so basically you just need to you know keep this saved in your sticky notes or somewhere and add this and where you see this b5 you just need to change it to the to the cell location here for so for this this is column b and row six so i'll type b six and hit enter and there you go you can see that the qr code has been generated so to verify if the QR codes are actually working, I'm going to scan these codes for, through my phone. I've opened my camera app now. So let's try and scan the first one. Okay, so it says that the content is ABC and here you go. It shows that it is ABC. Now I'll go back to the camera app and I'll scan the second QR code which should redirect me to my YouTube channel. And there you go. You can get directly to the, my YouTube channel. And once you get there, you can also hit the subscribe button. So next up, we have the Sparkline function. Here we have uh, some data which shows the number of orders on a monthly basis along with the cancellation percentage. So in case you want to make this data look more presentable, all you need to do is use this very simple formula called Sparkline. So I'll add this formula and then select these uh, data units and hit enter. And here we go. We automatically have this graphical view which shows the fluctuation in the number of orders on a month to month basis. And all I need to do is then drag this down and show the same for the cancellation percentage. And in case you want to show this in a column view, or all you need to do is function the same formula, which is Parkline, and then select these data units, add a semicolon, and between these double quotes, add chart type. Basically, the formula is just below. You can just copy this chart type, uh, and then you add a comma, and then you type in column. All this needs to be in another bracket, so I'll add those brackets. Right, and, uh, and here we go. Now you see this, the same uh, presentation in a graphical view. Uh, again, I can just drag this down and have the same view for the cancellation percentage as well. Now we have a very useful little function on Google Sheets, which is the split function. So here we have a list of names in column B and let's assume we have to split these uh, as first and last names. So we can use this very simple little function called the split function. So, uh, so you add the split function, select the data unit, and then you need to define how you would like to split these. So I'm going to split this with the space between the first and the last name. So I'm going to add a space and then I'm going to close this. And here you go this automatically splits the first and the last name and if i want to do this for the rest of the data units here we have here we go so i have split the first name and the last name uh just by a very simple function and i can do the same for this uh for the dates here as well so let's say if i want to split uh, the month date and year i can use the same function split select uh cell b15 and then instead of adding uh, uh, instead of splitting by, by space, we can split by uh, this, and here you go. And again, you can just drag this down and do the same for the rest of the data we have. And let's assume you, know, you have this data where you have the first and the last name and you want to get these together. So you can use a similar function called the join function, which is just the opposite of the split function so what you need to do is first define how you like to join these i want to join these with a space and then add a comma select the two cells that you want to join and i have joined all of these here so here we go everything is automatically joined so the first name and the last name is now in one single cell 
Last but not the least, we have a very interesting little function in collaboration with Google Translate. So let's assume you want to do some self-learning and you want to understand how to translate that stuff from English to different languages. So you can use this uh, Google Translate function which is exclusive to Google Sheets. So you can add Google Translate and enter the source. So this is going to be a source, so I haven't entered anything yet. Uh, but I want to translate from English to Arabic here. So in, in inverted commas, I'll add English and the same way I'll add Arabic, which is AR. And then this shows an error right now since I've not entered anything in English, but I'll first add everything up for English and then Spanish and then French. So next we have for Arabic. Spanish is ES and then we have French and French is FR and one point two is right is all right down. So now when you enter anything here in English, so let's say I type hello. It automatically shows you the translation. Yeah, so pretty useful function here, exclusive to Google Sheets. All you need to do is add this function and then enter anything that you would like to translate from English or from uh, another language, and it will automatically populate the translation with the help of Google Translate. Another little key uh, function that can, can be really useful while you're working on Google Sheets. So in case you want to add alternating uh, color uh, on your on your data or on the sheet that you're working on. So instead of doing it one by one, all you need to do is just go to format and then select alternating colors. And you have a list of colors which you can select from. So let's say I want to select this. You go done so that you don't have to waste a lot of time selecting the color of each row one after the other.